Yo, 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 everybody. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, that's not right. Hello, boys and girls. It's Fog. Welcome to Fog's World. This is episode 48. I've been letting my sheep grow down here. They've been growing back their, their wool. Time for another harvest. Okay, there's the blacks. There's the blacks, yes. And the blues. And the grays. And the light blues. Well, guys, today uh, we're going to work some more on the uh, ranch. Uh, I'm going to do something for the cows and the pigs today. Oh, oh, I missed one. Oh, get back there. I want all of you. There you go. Yep, I want to I wanna do something with the cows and the pigs. We got the sheep taken care of, but we haven't done anything with the cows or the pigs. So give me a second to shear all these sheep and collect all the wool. Uh, I think some of these are falling down below. I may need to fill in some openings down there or something. Maybe if I fill them in with glass, then they'll then they won't get stuck down there. Because you can see some of these guys are not being picked up. Oh no no. Oh, my inventory's full. Okay, that's why I'm not picking them up. I thought they would always show up on top, but I couldn't figure out why I wasn't picking any of them up. Oh, well, let's, let's uh, empty the old inventory here. Speed boost activated. You can tell I've already collected a few of these. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff on my in my inventory right now because... Uh, we're going to do some work with the cows and the she and the pigs. And um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and remove all of these pressure plates. Whoa. Oh, dear. That was what? That was gray. <laughs> that was you. Ah, stupid picks. Just too good. Here, maybe we'll do it the slow way. Well, I don't know. Maybe we just, just got to be real careful, huh? There we go. Whew. Stupid pick is just too darn good. Did I get all the... I got all the wool. Okay, that's good. I'm missing a few pressure plates still. But I can collect them in a minute. Yeah, I'm going to remove all the pressure plates because we're going to have... Uh, we're going to be coming in and out of here a lot for this project. And we're going to be moving animals through here. And uh, I don't want to be messing with the with the dispensers. So we're just gonna we're just gonna leave those off. All right. Well, we'll take care of the wool here in a second, but I can get started here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear out a a little more space in the back. Um, we're gonna put cows and sheep back here. I mean, not cows and sheep. Cows and sheep. No. No. Duh. Pigs. Cows and pigs. So we need to clear a little bit of an area out back here. Gotta go back a little farther. I gotta figure out my layout here, so let me let me give a little thought here. The thing I want to build, I'm gonna build two pens. I'm gonna build one over there for probably the mushrooms. Doesn't really make any difference. Uh, you don't need to do anything special for cows if you have mushrooms, because mushrooms will give you everything cows will give you and more. We'll still let the cows wander out there when we're done with our terraforming. But as for an official place for them, oh gosh, those sheep are so loud. As for an official place for them, that's going to be back here. And we're only going to do mushrooms. We'll do mushrooms over here, and we'll do pigs over there. Um, so let's see. The thing I'm going to build uh, is, what is it, nine? Nine wide at the, or at the smallest? I think I'm probably going to go a little wider than nine, but we'll see. This is one, two, three, four. Four, five, that way goes to there. Is that right? Yeah, I'm going to go... So one... This would be the fifth spot right here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to make it this wide. Plus, you know, I'll, I'll open it up all the way just for completeness sake. But uh, the contraption itself... We're going to do five on this side and five on that side with one in the middle. So it's going to be 11 wide for the double contraption that I'm going to build here. I'm trying to figure out where to place things, obviously. 
So let's clear this out a bit. Whoops, 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 whoops. <coughs> well, we'll put that back. It doesn't really matter, but we'll put it back. Hmm. I had to get rid of this wool again. All right, give me a second. I'm going to get rid of the wool. I will return here in a second. Come on. Speed boost. I love that. I love that. I wish, I wish there were a way to extend its range even farther. It's just not quite far enough to reach all the way back into this alcove, and I wish it were. Although, I tell you, when you're building a project, sometimes it's nice to have that disabled because it can get a little bit too much. It can be a little too easy to move around. Okay, so let's clear this out. Eventually, we'll come through and we'll pretty all this up. But that's a job for another time. Right now, I just want to get the layout right. Okay, so let's see. i got to be in too deep. Ha! Ha! That's a good song. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. So let's see. Get a little lower. Clear this area out. So what I have in mind is I'm going to build uh, a couple of breeding cells for for cows. Oh, I didn't get rid of that wool. Uh, a couple of breeding cells for cows and pigs. They're going to be automated. They're going to be similar to what we did to the sheep with the sheep here. Um, similar but different. Yeah, that's right. So let me see. I'm going to have... This is the center right here. That's the center. And we gotta, we're going to have a killing area for one of them. Let's see. There'll be a killing area here, and a killing area here, or do I open them up farther? Maybe I go farther. Maybe we go there and there. If we have a killing area there, then we'll have a breeding area here. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. So breeding here, killing here. Breeding there, killing there. So we're going to have a breeding area that works just like these, a little little water dispenser and the, you know, the whole pop-up thing that we're used to seeing here. And we're going to have a killing area right next to it. And the killing area... Actually, I think this is going to be the breeding and this is going to be the killing. But um, So I'll have the pop-up breeding area right here. And we'll have a killing area over there. And they're separated by a, by a piece of glowstone that's on a sticky piston. So there'll be a sticky piston right down there. And there'll be a piece of glowstone. It'll be extended normally. Go click that. And that'll put a piece of glowstone right there in between the area. Then you'll push a button. The glowstone will drop just long enough for some of the, about half of the, the animals on one side to move to the other side. And, yeah. Collect that. And you go there. Right, so that's the way that's going to be laid out, just like that. Um, let me go and get these guys on the bar here. We're going to pretty this up a little bit. Anything exposed, I want to look nice, right? Jeez, guys. Shut up. <laughs> They're so loud. Uh, you guys are lucky because I'll have turned the sound down for you. But for me, oh my gosh. They just won't shut up. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then separating these guys, we'll have, uh, let's see, this is going to be the killing area out here. Well, do I want to do that? Do I want to... Do I want to breed on the outside and kill in the middle, or breed in the middle and kill on the outside? Wow. Tough decision. Tough decision. You know, I think I will put the breeding out here and the killing here. 
I think I will. I think I will do that. I wasn't going to do it that way, but I'm going to. Uh, it's a little bit more compact to go the other way with the breeding cells in the middle, but because I've got a wide enough area here, I'm not bringing them in as compact as they need to be, so I've got room to work with it. So, yeah, I guess killing area goes here. Yeah, that's what it'll be. This will be the killing area right here. Whoops, not there. Here. Right? Right. Whoops. <laughs> I was all carefully lined up, and then I stepped on top of the block, and up it went. Right, so that's the way that's going to go. I'm going to come around the back and pretty up the back here in a minute. But for now, I'm just getting this getting this laid out the way I want it. I think, think that's good. Right. Right, 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 right. So if this is the breeding area... Oh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing some dispensers. I need four dispensers. Let's go get some dispensers. Curse Splash, I'm back and I've got my dispensers. I am a little low on redstone, but uh, we'll make it work somehow. If I have to go mine some redstone, then I'll go mine some redstone. It'll work. We'll make it happen. We will, we will. Hopefully that'll be enough, though. Uh, I don't know. I might need more than 11 for each side. Uh, anyway, where's that gray wool? There it is. Good. All right. Let's go back to work. Let's go back to work, shall we? Okay, so there's the layout for that. We need to put a couple of dispensers here. We're going to put a dispenser right there. And we're going to put a dispenser right back here. Right there. And right there. Now, this dispenser needs to be powered from below, so let's get down. We're going to dig down beneath it. And I didn't bring any levers. <laughs> I know I've got some, though. All right, let's jump down there and put in a lever, shall we? Boom. And we'll just backfill it back up. And do the same on this side. All right, so those are both powered. Now, now we can just fill this all in. Uh huh. Just like this, and hmm, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in like this. One more glass here and there. And yep, there we go. Yeah, that works actually. That oh hmm not quite. Figure out how do I want access to here? This way maybe? That's that's not horrible. Maybe we do it this way. Step up to here. That's not completely horrible. 
yeah, let's let's give that a shot and see if I like that. And if not, I can always change it. Maybe even do that. Yeah, I like that a little better. That works. That works. Okay, so now we have to get behind here and build the rest. This is where it gets a little more interesting. We're going to put a... Hmm. I'm going to put a torch right here. Whoops, not there. <laughs> ah, dear, dear, dear. I'm going to put a torch right here and here just to keep this lit while I work. But those are temporary. Those won't be there very long. I'll put one here for the same same reason. I already got one there. Okay, that's fine. Probably want to close that. Can any? No, I don't think anything can get in through there. Famous last words. <laughs> Open this up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't. Don't you be doing that. Luckily, I didn't put down any redstone yet. for now, just so I have a way to get in the back. Now. I'm gonna run out of these uh, slabs if I'm not careful. Okay, so we need a button here and a button here. Oops. Guess you gotta get moved. And same on this side, a button here and a button there. Okay, this button is going to operate that piston right there. And this button is going to operate that dispenser right there. Simple enough, right? Okay, let's get back behind it. Open up some area back here to work. Oh. Ah, well, I knew I had some areas back here that uh, were a little large, a little unexplored, but I uh, didn't really think it was that big. Have to watch our backs here. Okay. Now, I need to find the back of that dispenser right there. Oh, look at that. Right away. Found it right away. Excellent. Let's put up a little light back here. Keep things monster free for a while. And... Get the 
this closed off so I don't have to worry about surprises from the back. That should be good enough. Are we good? Are we good? Oh, I see what I've done. I see what I've done. Got it. Okay. Yeah, it should be good enough for now. Okay, so let me take a look at my notes here. Make sure I wire this correctly. It's not that hard, though. Seriously, it's pretty easy. All right, so off both of these, they come off. Let's see, we're at this level. They come off there and there. Is that right? Two in. One, two, there and there. Yes. And I need... Oh, Oh dear, where are my repeaters? I need some repeaters. All right, I'm back. Got my repeaters. One of these days I will get organized enough that I'll have everything ready at the start of an episode. <laughs> I do try. I make an effort. It just doesn't always happen. Okay, a couple of repeaters there, and then we'll do the same on this side. There and there. Two in again. Okay, one, two, there and there. Whoops. No, 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 no. This one is going to mess up my redstone. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I hadn't placed any repeaters yet. Lucky me. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, well, we'll do it this way then. No, not that way. Come on. Oh, I want... Oh, got it. Ha ha. Ha ha. I made it. Whew. Okay. So, on this side, we put a block. Let's see. Which way? Which one should we do first? Which one should we do first? Should we do the... Let's do... Yeah, let's do the piston first. We're going to do the piston first. We need to get down to where we can see that piston, by the way. Uh, which block was it? There's where the piston is, right there. Okay. Let me take a look at this. How did I wire that up? How did I wire up the piston? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, 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 right. So to get this piston in there, we need to get down in here and we wanna put a torch right there and that's the block we're gonna wire to is where that torch is right there so let's get out of here and uh, yeah let's do the same on the other side it's out here Right there. Torch. Right. And then leading into the torch, we put some redstone and a repeater set to four ticks because I want that pulse to be long enough to drop that, that piston for a minute. Or not a minute, but for a little bit of time. And then let's see, we do this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Disaster. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> do it again. 
All right, you and you and one of you. And backfill this. Then this guy goes there. And we've got to wire it up to this piston. All right. So what we're going to do here, we're going to wire this into an, a monostable circuit right here. And um, to do that, we need to do this. We're going to come off here with a torch like that. I'm going to put a block right here. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. What is it? What is it? Let me take another look at how I wired it that. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. What is it? Oh, that's what's wrong. That's where that goes. Right. And then we put a repeater here set to, can be three ticks, but I'm going to set it to four ticks because I don't need the shorter pulse. So that'll work. And then this guy comes here and into that. And that guy just needs to be wired down to him right here. Just like this. So what we have here is we have a monostable circuit right here. This is going to send a two tick pulse to here because this is set to four. If I'd set this to three, this would be a one tick pulse. It doesn't really matter because we're going to run it through this repeater, which is going to lengthen it anyway. So this means when we push the button, we're going to get a short pulse through here. That short pulse is going to come down to here. This is going to lengthen, so it's a four tick pulse. That four tick pulse is going to drop that piston for exactly four ticks. Just like that. Pretty simple, huh? Now we wire up the other side, and let me get work this out so I can get through here. Uh, <laughs> how do I get through without mess making a mess of everything? <laughs> That'll do it. All right, we got to do the same thing on this side. So let's get busy. Ha ha! That's going to fall, and it's going to let stuff through, and I don't want it to. Yep, it did. <laughs> yep, it did. Doggone it. I knew it was going to do that. <laughs> if I'd been smart, I'd have opened up a hole beneath it. But uh, no, I wasn't being smart. <laughs> ah, you would think that I would bother to think ahead, but no. Why would I do that? Boy, those sheep are loud. Loud, loud, loud. Okay. Coming through here. Up there and there. Got one of these. Right there, sorry. Three tick pulse here. Actually, we're going to do four tick. Doesn't matter. There we go. Do you. Come over to here. Put you. And you. And you come down right there. That should be good. So we should have our four tick pulse. Bingo. Okay, so this button right here is going to let the animals from there to the other side where we can kill them. This button here needs to be hooked up to that so that we can actually do the kill. Now, here's how we do that. This is really easy. This guy gets set to two ticks. This guy comes up here, over to here. And right here, and right here. It's that simple. Pretty sure that's all I need. We should hear it click twice when I push the button. Perfect. Hear that? That's perfect. Come back over here and do the same thing on the other side. Two tick repeater. Redstone, redstone, redstone. And let's sprinkle some torches back here just to get the back really well lit. I don't want anything spawning back here. 
Whoops. <laughs> well, that's not what I had in mind. <laughs> All right. Should hear two ticks. Got it. Perfect. Perfect. I like it. Okay. All right, now that we got the wall here, we'll put that light up there, I guess. It doesn't matter, does it? Maybe we keep it moody. All right. Next, we need lava buckets and water buckets. Let's go get some lava buckets and water buckets. Okay, well, I managed to get myself lost in the nether <laughs> in that lava, but I finally found it. Yay! <laughs> okay, so you get a lava bucket, and you get a lava bucket, and I hear a gurgler. You get a water bucket, and you get a water bucket. Now, just to show you how this works. This works the same as those guys. Step here. And we should get water dispensed, but we don't. Why don't we get water dispensed? Hmm. Oh, because the bucket didn't get left in there. There we go. Just like that. But I'm going to remove the pressure plate for now. This guy dispenses lava and immediately retracts it, and that'll be enough to kill and fry whatever food we put in there. All right, so the next step, we need to get... Uh, we need to get our friends back in here. Let's close this wall up. Okay, well, that works too. Close up the walls here. We will pretty all of this up later. Not today. But I do want to at least close the back wall. Just like that. All right, boys and girls, we're back. I've got, I don't know, about 15 or so mushrooms over there and about 15 or so pigs over there. And it's time to go and test it out and show you how this works. So uh, here's how it works. You got a bunch of uh, full grown animals in there and it's time for slaughter. OK, so. What you do is you push this button, and that's going to drop that piston. And because mobs in, in uh, Minecraft like entropy, there's a big word for you. Look it up. Because mobs like entropy, they're going to spring apart. And then the piston's going to come back up and split them roughly in half. So let's give it a try. There you go, just like that. Because the piston's transparent, it won't suffocate any of the mobs. And then to kill them, all you do is hit that button. And out they go. And they are going to drop their juicy steak. And we're in business. Look at that. Now to get them repopulated, you come up here. Stand right there. And when they're bobbing around, you give them some feed. Just spam that right click. Spam that right button. And five minutes later, do it again. That way you'll repopulate your... Uh, repopulate your animals without depleting them each time because remember each time you're using about half and it takes five minutes for these guys to recharge so you got to do it once and then do it again five minutes later and then at that point you're all back to where you were or pretty close to it maybe do it again for a good measure if you feel like it you know I'm gonna put a lot more than this in here eventually um, and, uh, you know, you just keep breeding them here. And then make sure it's been 20 minutes since the last time you breed them before you kill them. Otherwise, you're going to end up killing some of the babies. So let's go over here. Let's uh, let's slaughter some pork. Let's get us a ham sandwich. Yeah. Hit that. There we go. We get about half of them. And then hit that button there, and down they go. Tasty pork chops. Yum, yum, yum. And then we climb up here, stand right here, feed them some carrots, just like that. Now, those of you who are observant may think, well, why did we put the fancy circuit in the piston? Because we could have just used this button. You push the button, have the piston go down, and then when the button releases, it comes back up. Instead, I chose to put in a monostable circuit to shorten that pulse. 
You don't have to do that. I did that just because I think it looks better when the piston's only down for a fraction of a second. Otherwise, it would be down for a full second, and I, I just didn't think it looked as good. So there you go. Don't need to use the extra wiring if you don't want to. You can just wire that straight up to the piston, and that'd be good enough. Well, anyway, uh, five minutes later, I'm going to come back and feed these guys again, but it, you don't want to wait around for that, and I think that's it for today. I think we're done. So, uh, as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you want to want to see more of this kind of thing, subscribe and get it right to your inbox. Um, thanks for subscribing. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. That uh, definitely helps me out. If not, don't. That's fine, too. I hope you're all having a wonderful uh, holiday season, and I hope everybody has a happy new year. Uh, videos might slow down a little bit over the holidays because I've got family in town and got lots of stuff going on. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, we'll talk to you all again next time.